Yeah, guys, um, so a couple of questions we've been asked in the comments this week. Firstly, could we please review some of these new filter style um, Nespresso pods for the original air machines? Um, so we've got the mild one to review today, and we're going to try and get hold of the, uh, I think it's called Intense, one going forward. Um, the second question was, did we manage to avoid the snow? Until yesterday we did, but as you can see now we've got a complete blizzard, but at least we've got hot coffee to go at. So these new filter style pods from Nespresso then, uh, they feature a different um, type of capsule where they have a foil lid on where you have to tear off, as we can see there on the first bit of the diagram. Um, so you tear the lid off and then you pop it in the machine and then you have to press the espresso button and also the Lungo button after it, or the other way around. It's saying Lungo, then Espresso, isn't it? Um, and that should give you a 150 mil filter style coffee instead of the usual 110 with a Lungo or 40 with an Espresso. So yeah, it says a revised capsule design unlocks an aromatic filter style brew, light bodied with a delicate veil of crema. Filter style mild is an easy to drink morning cup characterized by a ribbon of sweetness, malted cereal and juicy peach notes. Peel off the membrane and extract a long 150 ml coffee by brewing first using the Lungo, then the espresso buttons. I know these are technically um, virtual glasses, but I do quite like them and I thought you'd be able to see the brew in there as well. They're built for a 180 ml uh, cappuccino size coffee. Um, so it's gonna be a nice fit hopefully for the 150 ml filter style coffee with a bit of milk as well. So this is the pod then, there's no um, fancy designs like we sometimes get, uh, but as we can see, that's the um, pull away lid. So I'll just try and peel that off now, see how easily it comes off. And then underneath, underneath we have these perforated areas and that's gonna allow the filter style coffee to come through. Okay, so we've actually had to change tack and go for the Nespresso recipe glass instead, um, because we I'll show you on screen now, we poured it into that cappuccino glass, it's supposed to be 180 mil capacity, I'm sure, um, and it actually filled it right up to the top, it was going to overflow, so I had to stop the stop the capsule from pouring. Um, but we'll give it another go now with this recipe glass, and do let us know, is this how you would expect a, a filter coffee to look, to come out, we'll go with the Lungo button, We'll now switch to the espresso button. So it is described as a mild filter style coffee. So my wife and I have both had a sip of this and it's quite different to get used to when you're used to Lungo coffees being the uh, the taller ones from the Nespresso machine. It is a little bit difficult to get used to. It's bordering on weak, but it's, it's not, you do get those flavors, that acidity coming through as well. So if you like a very mild coffee, you're probably gonna like this. I don't know if it's gonna take much milk in it though, but I'll give it a try with some milk in. Um, but yeah, it is a, 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 a bit of acidity there, uh, very delicate, very light, um, but it, it is sort of balanced as well. It's like a weaker version of like a Buenos Aires pod, um, the Lungo pod from Nespresso. And the more I'm drinking it, I have to agree, I, I get why they're saying it's juicy. It does have that juicy taste to it, probably because it's not very full bodied. So let's add a little bit of milk and just try that. Like I say, I'm only gonna add a touch because I don't think it's gonna take very much. It's, it's not bad with a little bit of milk. Go on, Abby, you have a try that and see what you think. Yeah, I think it it's quite a pleasant, I think if, if you like mild, delicate coffee, then I think you might enjoy this one. It might be a bit too, mild for me. So I hope you've enjoyed our review of the Barista Creations Filter Style Mild. Um, also, we have a new channel as well, Exploring the North, it's called. So if you fancy um, seeing some nice places around the north of England, or if you're thinking of holidaying in the north, um, then do follow us on there as well, and we'd, we'll look forward to seeing you on that channel too. Um, so thanks for watching. Do give the video a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and bye for now.